Yeah, come over here, sister. We came to talk to you. I want to know why you got blonde hair in your head. I want to know who told you to put the blonde hair in your head. I know you think it's cute, but did you but you did you know that was a sin against God? Just could you give me uh, uh, Proverbs 3 and 31. Did you know that was a sin against God? Then give me uh, Leviticus. Uh, 13. Leviticus 13. 13. Alright. So I'm, I'm going to show you how it's a sin against God. Alright. Our sisters walking around with the with the, uh, the other nation's hair in their head. That shows us that you hate yourself. God did not make you that way. Do not do that. It's just that simple. Wear your own natural hair. So y'all got to come up out of there. Read what you got. Proverbs chapter 3 verse 31. Envy not the oppressor. Our, our women envy the oppressor. They want the other nation's hair in their head. Read. Envy thou not the oppressor and choose none of his ways. And choose none of their ways. Don't do what they do. Oh, the white woman got blonde hair. Blondes have more fun. So what? They they have more fun in sin. Sin is pleasurable. They gonna end up in, they gonna end up dead. And that's a, believe it or not, that's a lot of that's the reason why a lot of y'all have hair problems to this day. Because you will not keep the commandments of God. A lot of our sisters got bad hair problems. Right. You know why? Because you will not keep the commandments of God. That's right. It's literally that simple. Read on. Is that it on that? Yes, sir. All right, get Leviticus uh, 13. Read. 29. The book of Leviticus, chapter 13, and verse 29. If a man or woman have a plague upon the head or beard, then the priest shall see the plague. And behold, if it be in the sight, deeper than the skin, and there be in it a yellow thin hair. So the Bible teaches us that a yellow thin hair is unclean. It's an unclean thing. So, sister, take the blind hair out your head. All right? Do not envy your oppressors. Come back to the commandments of God. That's how we change our community. That's how the black man and the uh, Hispanic man and Native man get back on top. That's when they right. when they come back to their God. Right. A lot of y'all don't understand what's going on right now. There's a new thing going on there. It is it's changing the lives of, of, of so many people. The, uh, so, the so called I know a lot of y'all thought the white man was gonna rule forever. I know we all thought white Jesus was gonna be here forever. To the point where he's gonna crack the sky and come down to save everybody. That's not true. That was a lie. Alright? Uh, give me uh, 2 Thessalonians chapter 2. Alright, read, read that. The book of 2 Thessalonians chapter 2 and verse 8. And then shall the wicked be revealed, for the Lord shall consume, the, consume with the spirit of his mouth. It starts out at verse 7. Verse 7. For the mysteries of, the, of iniquity doth already work. Only he who, who now let it will let, until he be taken out of the way. And then shall the wicked be revealed. So guess what? According to the scriptures, the wicked has to be revealed. Who is the wicked? Give me, uh, you know what I want. So, yeah. All right. Who is the wicked? According to the scriptures. Read. The book of Job, chapter 9, and verse 24. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covers the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? All right. So those that have an ear, let them hear. Yes, sir. All right. So the Bible tells you that the earth is given to the hands of the wicked. Who owns, the, who owns all the things in the earth right now? Is it not the so-called white man? Alright? The earth was given over to him. And who covered the faith of the judges thereof? Who changed all the painting from black faces to white faces? Who did that? That was, so, that was the so-called white man. Alright? It's time for the black man in America to stand up and start teaching his people. Change the community. Change lives. And start spending your money with the other nations. And stop bowing down to the so-called white man and his traditions and his belief. It's time for y'all to come out of the, uh, 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 of the lying Christian churches too. It's time. It's time for y'all to come up out of the streets. It's time for it's time for our people to make a difference in in, in, uh, in our community. All right. Uh. So go back. Go back. Go back to yeah. And read on. Second Thessalonians chapter two and verse eight. And then shall the wicked be revealed. Whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth, and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. Even him whose coming is after the works of Satan, who all power and size and lie and wonder, and with all deceitfulness of unrighteousness, and them that perish, because they receive not the love of the truth. So the Bible teaches you and tells you that, there, that there's been a deceiver out on the earth. It's been deceiving you. Alright? And because you do not believe in the word of God, you will be, you will perish in that uncle, that uh, 
by being deceived. You will be you will perish by the lies of the so-called white man. You will be you 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 be you will perish. You will die in your sins because of all the lies that have been told throughout America. It's time for our people to wake up. Give me John chapter eight and verse thirty-two. But guess what? We are the saviors. We are the ones that come to tell you the truth about the, about the Bible. We are the ones that come to save your soul. I know y'all thought it was the white man. Uh, I know y'all thought it was uh, what's, what's some of the white pastors out there? Uh, Joe, Joe, Joe. I know you thought it was Joel Osteen. They yeah. came to save your soul. I know you thought it was uh, I don't know these white white pastors. John Hagen. John Hagen. I know y'all thought it was John Hagen that came to save your soul. Jimmy Swagger, I know y'all thought it was him, but guess what? We are the ones that come to give you the good news. We are the ones here to save your soul. Read what you got. John chapter 8 and verse 32. And ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. So if they're not telling you the truth, then guess what? You still, you still in slavery. You still locked down. The scripture said you shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. Guess what? Joel Osteen ain't told you the truth yet. Ain't no, ain't no white man on the planet Earth told no black man the truth. Y'all need to come up out of, y'all need to come up out of these lies, man. All right, now give me the truth. That's what we do. We tell you the truth. We tell you the truth. We give you the truth. We finna tell you the truth right now. We finna tell you the truth to save your soul. Read what you got. Psalms chapter 119 and 142. The righteousness is an everlasting righteousness, and thy law is the truth. Did y'all hear that, black women? Joel Osteen did not tell you the truth. He did not save your soul. Your Christian pastor did not save, did not tell you the truth. These young black brothers right here told you the truth today. They said, they said, what? What's the truth? Read it again. The righteousness is an everlasting righteousness, and thy law is the truth. Did y'all hear that? God laws is the truth. Come back to the laws. That's your understanding. That's how you get on top. That's how you change the community around. That's how you turn the world upside down. That's how you do it. Keep God's commandments. It's really that simple. <laughs> Hey, shalom brothers, shalom sisters, Bishop Nathaniel here. That's right, you know what day it is. It's Shout Out Tuesday. It is Shout Out Tuesday. And I pray you brothers and sisters join me every Tuesday afternoon on IUIC Events channel, where I will be reading your kind and inspirational letters, also thanking you for your kind donations, and also covering very important biblical information for the mental well-being of our 12 tribes. That's right, 12 tribes worldwide. So hope to see you then every Tuesday afternoon on IUIC events. Shalom. It's important, it's important that our people understand what's going on right now. Read what you got. The book of Proverbs chapter seven and verse two. Keep my commandments and live. The Bible said, God, God says keep the commandments and live. So in other words, if you don't keep the commandments, you're, you're going to die. And I'm going to show you what that means. Go to Proverbs 21 and verse 16. That means you're dead. You're not living. You're, you're dead. You're not living. Not finna prove that to you. Cause a lot of y'all think we lying. A lot of y'all think we don't know what we talking about. Y'all think y'all already know. Oh, I'm good. No, nah, you're not good. You're not good. There's nothing, there's nothing good but one. All right, read what you got. Proverbs chapter 21 verse 16. The man that one is out of the way of understanding shall remain in the congregation of the day. The man and woman that remains out of the way of understanding shall remain in the congregation of the dead. All right? Meaning that you don't have no understanding about God's laws. Do you know about God's laws? Do you know about his laws? What's, give me, give me, give me some of his laws. What's his laws? Give, name it, name, tell me God's laws. Name one of them. First John chapter two and verse three. In him by we do know that we know him if we keep his commandments. We know that we know God if we keep his commandments. So when the, when the young lady, and God, uh, look, God bless her soul, she didn't know no better. She said she knew, she said that I know God. But then I said, well, what's, 
give me some of God's commandments. She couldn't name God. She couldn't name none of God's commandments. Nor do she do any of God's commandments. So we, you don't know God. That's what we've been trying to tell y'all the whole time. Y'all think y'all have a relationship with God because you walk in the earth. Because I'm walking around. I'm, I'm walking. I'm breathing God's air. But the only way we know you know God is we keep God's commandments. I'm going to give you an example. If God said, grow a beard on your face, and then a brother comes to us and say, I know God, but he don't have a beard on the face, well, you don't know the God of the Bible because he said, grow the beard out. And if you keep God's commandment, that means you know him. That means you started to build a relationship with him when you start keeping the Sabbath day holy. That means that's your God because you're following what he told you to do. Your God didn't tell you to smoke that cigarette. That was you and your lust that told you to smoke that cigarette. But if you listen to God, God will tell you quit the foul in your temple. And then when you do that, now you have a relationship with God. Now you can come to anybody and say, well, look, I believe in God. I know who God is. But see, a lot of y'all don't do nothing God to say. And then try to come to us and be like, well, we, I know God. I know God. No, nah, you don't know God, man. Read what you got. Verse John, chapter 2, verse 4. He that saith I know him and keepeth not his commandments is a liar. You are a liar. Thus saith the Lord. So don't know, don't nobody come over here and don't nobody go to no Israelite camp or no Israelite teachers and say they know God if you ain't keeping no commandments. Y'all better start coming with these commandments, man. Y'all better come and say, yeah, I keep the Sabbath. Yeah, 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 yeah. My, uh, 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 give me Deuteronomy 22 and 5. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My, 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 my wife, she don't wear pants. Why? Because that's a man's garment. And God said, don't do that. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know the God you serve, man. I know who y'all talking about. Yeah, and when y'all start coming like that, then we can, hey, we can, hey, yeah, yeah, you can come talk to us. But a lot of y'all do not, uh, do nothing that God say, and then want to come to us and say, we know God. Y'all do not know God. If you knew God, then you know why you been called African American. If you knew God, then you know why the white man calls you black. If you knew God, you would know why God calls you the Israelites. If you knew God, read. Deuteronomy chapter 22 and verse 5. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man, neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. For all that do so are abomination unto the Lord thy God. So let me ask you black, black women out there. Do y'all know that guy right there? Read that scripture again. Do y'all know this guy right here? Read what you got. Deuteronomy chapter 22 and verse 5. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. When, when has God ever told y'all women that? That, that the women shouldn't wear that which pertains to a man. That's called cross-dressing. What God, what God ever told you that? Because guess what, I got news for you. That's the God of the Bible. That's the God they say that they, they teach in the Christian church. That's the same God, he ain't never changed. God is the same yesterday as he is today. And guess what? And, and get, uh, keep reading, keep reading, keep reading. Neither shall a man Put on a woman's garment. Don't tell me y'all ain't never, y'all ain't seen these men walk around here with men dresses on, with a, with, with, uh, with, with a woman's garment on. They doing that in 2022. Little Nas, Little Nas, they just had one on. Oh, uh, oh, uh, what's the name? Uh, Russell, Russell Westbrook had one on. They promoting that thing. Young Thug had it. So y'all, so y'all want to act like that? That ain't going on. That's going on. You got men walking around with dresses. So what God, what God told them to do that? Because the God of the creator of all things and uh, uh, told, told us not to do that. He said a woman shall not wear that pertaining on the man, but pertain to a man, and a man shall not wear that pertaining to a, uh, to a woman. That's called cross-dressing. But guess what? A lot of y'all cool with that. Well, it don't, don't have nothing to do with me, but that's not, that's not biblical. That's why, that's why our kids die in the streets, because nobody want to say anything. Nobody wants to be the snitch. Guess what? Snitches is in the Bible. Give me Leviticus chapter 5 and verse 1. If you, if you walk around talking about something, I don't want to snitch, you evil as hell. You an evil person. That means you don't, you don't, you don't want the, the drugs and the evil, the shooting, the, the, the killing stop in your community. I understand that you might be scared, but the scriptures say that uh, Lord, the Lord has not given us a fear. A lot of y'all scared because y'all don't have the power of God. A lot of y'all don't understand what's going on. Read what you got. Leviticus chapter 5 and verse 1. Leviticus chapter 5 and verse 1. And if a soul sin and hear the voice of swear, it is a witness whether he has seen or known of it. So if you know about the drug dealing going on in your community, if you know about the murdering going on in your community, if you know about the adultery 
that's going that your neighbor is in. What you supposed to do? If he do not utter it, then he shall bear his iniquity. God says you just as evil as the person doing it. You just as evil. So snitching is in the Bible. If you see something going wrong with your community, just, just, just tell that thing. All right? Just, you got to open up your mouth. That's what we do when we come out here. We see you telling drugs, we're going to tell you, bro, put the drugs down. All right? All right. We're going to tell you that it's evil. We're going to tell you that it's wrong. What is a nation? Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. Nation is unity. Nation is 